Hi. Believe it or not, I'm using two cameras here, and the I turned them on at the same time, started recording at the same time, as uh, I'm going to see which one records better, the, uh, the blue camera or the black camera. See, these are what they look like. This is the blue one, black one, of course, you know, yeah. And they're recording all at the same time. <laughs> so if my eyes are going up and down, it's because I'm either looking at this one or that one. So, yeah. I have a feeling the black camera is going to make a better quality video than the blue camera because the black camera takes up more data. But I think I'll be filming with the blue camera, making videos with the blue camera, because even though the black camera will make better quality videos than the blue camera, I would like to be able to upload uh, videos on Lively uh, that are longer than five minutes. And uh, I'm not into quality when it comes to videos, as you know. I'm into I'm, I'm into quantity, but I'm also into message as long as you can hear me that's a thing that counts to me you know I don't care if you uh, see me really uh, but I would, would like to see enough let you know see enough of me to see if I'm lying or not you know so I think that's important uh, day is coming though where I think I will uh, be making more videos that uh, don't really have me in them because uh, I found so many videos on the internet that are better than my videos a lot better and I would rather record them than what I have because you know I'm not an ex-Muslim not a Muslim but to begin with I don't know Arabic, where these people I found knew, do know Arabic and they're ex-Muslim, and to me they're very important, very important people. Anyway, uh, let you know something I discovered recently. I've discovered that Dulkarnain, or Dulkarnain, in the Quran, also, he's, uh, many people take him to believe it was Alexander the Great. But now they're changing their mind about being Alexander the Great because Alexander the Great was not a Muslim. He was actually a pagan and he wanted to be worshipped and all that stuff. So now they're saying, oh, it must not be Alexander the Great after all. Uh, who, are, who knows who it was, you know. Uh, I think it was Alexander the Great, but hey, who cares. The thing that's interesting, though, is that this, this dual, dual carnain guy, which means tool horns in Arabic, he is the Paul Bunyan of the Quran. I don't know who you know about Paul Bunyan, but uh, there are some American folk tales. There's Paul Bunyan, there's John Henry, uh, there's uh, Pecos Bill, and uh, they did things that uh, are not uh, scientifically possible. Paul Bunyan using a hand, uh, 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 John Henry using a hammer to go through the uh, uh, tunnel using, you know, hitting it just hitting the going through there that way uh paul bunyan uh, taking down a whole forest with one swing <laughs> uh pecos bill uh lassoing a tornado yeah lassoing a tornado i have a feeling that if if uh muhammad came upon these folk tales these american folk tales he'd believe them because in the quran you have the sun not appearing to set, but to actually be setting in a muddy spring. Where uh, this this Jewel Carnain guy goes, he just goes so far west, he comes upon where the sun sets. And then he goes so far east, he comes upon where the sun uh, rises. And then, a little, a little further down, uh, this Paul Bunyan of the Quran, this Jewel Carnain, this, who knows, Alexander the Great, who knows. Uh comes upon a people who are so stupid they they don't understand uh, speech 
They don't understand language. They can't re they can't talk. Yet he's able to talk to them and, and tell them that he will protect them against the Magog the Magog people, the Gog and Magog people, by building a wall between two mountains to seal off these people. Oh, I better stop it here. It's